You know, when I'm on that ballot for president next year, I can't lose. Look at how I wowed them recently at a big political rally. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first in our series of Meet the Candidate Luncheons. In future weeks, we'll have President Reagan, Walter Mondale, all the leading presidential candidates. Today's guest speaker and candidate is fairly new to politics. A member of the Halloween Party, he last summer became the first vampire ever to run for governor of Michigan. Last fall, he topped that achievement by becoming the first vampire ever to lose a governor's race. Please welcome Count Scary. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to join us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me here today. Well, hello there, political fans. I'm not here today to ask you to support me for president. I'm telling you to! <laughs> now you say, why should I vote for that guy? I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to give you money if you do. That's why! <laughs> Everybody says they want honesty from a president. All right, then let me just say, I am a crook. <laughs> How do you like that, honesty, you jerks? <laughs> As for those Russians, if elected, I am going to scare their pants off. <laughs> Wait a minute, you know something? I can't prove it. But I think those Russians are a bunch of communists. Oh. <laughs> now, remember what President Kennedy said. Ask not what your vampire can do for you. Ask what you can do for your vampire. You know, if I could reminisce here for just a second, and you can't stop me, by the way, so I'm going to anyway. Recently, while I was out campaigning, I saw a little girl. And she was so cute. She had a sign that said, bring us together. So I said to her, why don't you go take a running leap? Oh, I don't see her bringing anybody together. People say to me, Count, do you have a program? And I say, have you heard of HUD HUD and the FCC? Well, I will introduce to the Congress the Human Environmental Resources Protection of Energy Systems Program, H-E-R-P-E-S. That's what I'll get those guys in Congress. <laughs> Finally, let me finish by thanking my closest political advisor and speechwriter, James Watt. And people say, I'm scary. And remember, everybody, Vote for Skelly, or I'll go out with your diary. Vote for Skelly, or I'll give the address of your son to boy George. All right, now everybody, go ahead, applaud. I said, applaud. Where did everybody go? You don't want to stay for a front cup. <laughs> 